And I'm going to hop on over to the chat because I know that there is at least one question in there. Right. Karen, do you have any tips on dealing with the anxiety of not knowing my future with exams, etc.? Such a great question. And I think it's one that's on a lot of people's lips right now or on their minds right now. So Karen, if you do want to jump on and have a chat, like just feel free to go and unmute yourself and turn video on, etc. But I will start off by giving you um, a my overriding thought. In fact, I have two. <laughs> Number one, carry on as if everything is normal. Carry on as if everything is normal. If we spend energy and time and brain power worrying about what might be, we're taking energy and brain power and concentration and focus away from things that we actually have some control over. Okay, we have no idea where things are going to go, what decisions may or may not need to be made about exams, etc. What you do have control over is your work right now. And the only thing we can do is treat it exactly the same as we would otherwise. So that's my first point. My second point is that I truly believe that for those students who want to, you know, work hard and do well, I truly believe there is a massive opportunity for you to get ahead here because Number one, there's going to be a lot of students who do end up just treading water. They just kind of do what they've got to do. They keep their fingers crossed that, oh, surely, you know, the exam boards are going to change stuff. And surely, you know, they'll have to do such and such with, their mark, with our marks because this is terrible. And I'm not getting, you know, the amount of help I should from teachers. And let's face it also, Cam, like you're kind of in a good space because you have got additional support that is going to continue and in fact, like increase <laughs> as a result of everything else that's going on, whereas other people may or may not have that. Um, and I just think there's going to be a lot of people who are just kind of going, oh, well, you know, this is all out of my hands. What can I do? And I'm like, well, those of you that are keen and really want to do stuff, this is a massive opportunity because you're going to have more time than you ever would have had. <laughs> you know, there's going to be no sporting commitments, no sports meetings, no training. Um, you may or may not, which obviously may or may not be a great thing. You may or may not have as many hours of work if you have paid employment, depending on what your industry is. But why not use those to do all the things you don't normally have time for? Like who, what, what senior students right now really had, I've had tons of time to go and download heaps of past papers, practice some, identify command words, link it up to the mark scheme and start analyzing that. Like, seriously, <laughs> can maybe type in the chat and let me know, like, are those things that you feel like you've had time to do so far? And maybe are they things that you could now have time to do that you wouldn't have had to time to do otherwise. And the benefit for students who are, you know, in this community are that they know what those tasks and exercises are that are going to get them ahead. Lots of students don't know that. Now this isn't about it being a competition because I genuinely want as many students as possible to know about this stuff. And I'm putting a lot of content and well, going to be, I've been prepping a heap of content. I'm going to be putting out a heap of content, you know, onto our Facebook page and um, through my email list of, of just interested parents, etc., just to share that idea with them that this is a massive opportunity for your team to really get to grips with a lot of the skills and the training and the practice that they may not have had before and didn't even know existed. So I think those are two really useful ways to look at this cam. And I know it might not always be easy to sort of focus on those, but my question really is like, why, why wouldn't we, why wouldn't we just go, okay, what's the stuff I can control and get our heads into that. You know, it's good to kind of keep up with obviously what's going on where we need to, but there's a lot of stuff in there that we probably, you know, isn't going to impact us either way, whether we read it or don't read it. So stick to the stuff we have control over and then maximize this as an opportunity. So that isn't, that doesn't mean I'm saying this is a great thing that's happening. It's about saying, well, this is the situation. Can we get something positive out of it for ourselves? So that when this, it does pass, whenever that will be, you are going to be better prepared and stronger as a student to tackle whatever does happen afterwards and whatever you do have to sit or whatever assessment does come up or whatever the scenario is, you're in the most amazing position to tackle it whatever that might be.